back here at Obadiah Knight Elementary School, located in the Love Field area of Dallas. The school is named for Obadiah Knight, one of Dallas County's earliest pioneers. The school is led by Master Principal Enrique Escobedo and is honored to have an incredible counselor on staff, Mr. Jeffrey Todd Bingaman. Mr. Bingaman has been awarded the CREST recognition two years in a row. CREST stands for Counselors Reinforcing Excellence for Students in Texas, a statewide award, recognizing outstanding school counseling programs. Mr. Bingaman enlists staff members to serve as mentors to students, who in turn work with the students to promote their social and emotional well-being. He counsels parents on topics as varied as anti-bullying and drug abuse prevention. And Mr. Bingaman is just one of the many excellent staff members and teachers here at Obadiah Knight. Knight's Parent Center is a warm and inviting place where parents volunteer to work with students, attend meetings, or help with a variety of school needs. In addition to the staff, Knight has incredible support from area businesses and organizations. For instance, the local home improvement store Lowe's installed a peaceful water garden. This area also serves as a learning space for students. And thanks to a generous grant from the Dallas Junior League, students of every grade level took on an extensive project creating murals for the school that are not only beautiful, but are educational as well. This program started uh, when I wanted to do an interdisciplinary project here at Obadiah Knight. So I was trying to figure out a way to create an art project where the students could extend their classroom curricula in the art classroom. The different grade levels selected concepts as varied as weather systems, the seasons of the year, Native American Indians in Texas, and the five animal groups and their characteristics and habitats. For example, at the same time the fourth grade students were studying Texas history in homeroom, they are creating visual images in art class that explore stories of the past from the time of the Native American Indians in Texas to the arrival of the Spaniards. We went through this whole process where we gathered a lot of data from the students, from the teachers, and then we try to look at all of our data and the students picked out the images that they thought were the most representative of the idea that we were trying to explore. So I took their images and I made uh, transparencies of their drawings. And then those transparencies were enlarged onto the canvases. And we traced them with a pencil and outlined them with black paint. And then we put on the overlay of paint. And then we selected the best of those. And then those are the ones that are now on display on the walls of Obadiah Night. What I think the students got out of this project is that they get to see their own hand, their own voice in shaping the learning process. So they're creating these products, these resources that are going to be staying at the school long after they're gone. So it's their way of putting their own hand on their learning as well as the learning of other students for an unlimited number of years. What I think is important about a project like this is it brings a lot of people together that may not normally work together on a project. So it was expanding our community here in the classroom beyond the classroom and again once these pieces are up and they already are up it's a way for other people that come into our campus as well to be able to enjoy and interact with it so I just think it just kind of ripples out and I don't think there's any negative to this kind of educational collaboration I think there's only positives. A great principal, award-winning staff, and creative teachers are just a few things that make Obadiah Knight special. Come in and see for yourself. For Schools on Dallas, I'm Allison.